one minute left to top off the evening with a treat from our snack bar. Still time if you hurry. Last call for refreshments, folks. Go right this second to get something good to eat and drink to enjoy now or during the rest of the show. The finest quality ingredients are in the fixings of the delicious foods you'll find waiting to tempt your appetite at the snack bar. Extra special good hamburgers, wonderful donuts, ice cold thirst crunching drinks. Pizza generously sliced, steaming hot, fresh coffee, ice cream in many flavors. It's showtime, folks. Enjoy the show. Feature films are designed to be watched on the big screen, in public as a shared experience. We are all missing that shared experience right now, which is why we're here talking about our view at home favorites with you. There is, of course, one subset of motion pictures that are intended to be watched on the small screen, and those are, of course, made for TV movies. These movies come in every genre, but there is one area in which the made for TV movie excels, and that is the social issue drama. We could kill you, Stacey Lockwood. Plots are often ripped from the headlines. The issues and events depicted therein are told in the most over the top, salacious way possible for prime time. And they're paced in such a way to keep viewers compelled to stay through every commercial break. Get away from me! Originally airing on NBC under the title A Friend to Die For, Death of a Cheerleader milked those audience-grabbing elements for all they were worth. And it paid off, because not only was Death of a Cheerleader the highest rated TV movie of 1994, it had a long life in syndication, and even garnered a 2019 remake on Lifetime. <laughs> the film was based on the 1984 murder of a Rinda, California teenager, Kristen Costas, by her classmate, Bernadette Crotty. Arinda was an affluent, and competitive community, and those values were taught and reiterated at the school level, where something like acceptance into the varsity cheerleading squad was considered significant proof of status. One of the ways Costas held on to that status was by ridiculing and bullying other students. And when Prati's already precarious social standing was further threatened by Costas, she panicked, and the result was murder. While Death of a Cheerleader makes a serious attempt to criticize the values that contributed to the crime, it's still entertainment, and that's where this film really succeeds. Serving very much as the small screen daughter of Heather's, Death of a Cheerleader would solidify the tropes that would come to define the Mean Girl movie. Face like a ghost, hair black as sin, the witch of Santa Mira scratches her chin. Casting the familiar faces of Tori Spelling and Kelly Martin and amping up the melodrama at every turn, it really betrays any social value this movie could claim. Well, you could consider it poor taste to find amusement in a real-life murder, Death of a Cheerleader is ultimately fiction and farther removed from real life than many of the true crime documentaries that entertain the masses today. Death of a Cheerleader is part of Agatha's theatrical catalog from our friends at Multicom Entertainment Group. You can watch it free with ads on Tubi TV and the Roku channel, and it's also available on Amazon Prime. Agatha Secret Society is here to help share our love of film and to serve as a thank you to all of those who have donated and helped support us. Those donations are keeping Agatha alive while cinemas are closed, and we truly, truly appreciate it. Of course, lots of us are struggling right now, um, so if you can't donate, that's also okay. Um, just enjoy the movie, keep tuning in to Agfa Secret Society, and when cinemas are back open, Agfa has Death of a Cheerleader and close to a thousand other titles. You can request Scream in your town. Ah, hello there. Give the demonstration of my new invention, the goodies machine. The machine turns out delumptious hot doggies one after the other. And thrice quenching sodas also. Gives popcorn of the most tasty kind, plain and buttered. Candy too, crunchy and dandy. Steaming hot coffee and ice cream too. These goodies are at a snack bar just waiting for you. Mmm, 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 mmm.